super, super thick. Like, get into this. This is just, I believe this is only three bundles. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl with Fabby for those of you who don't know and if you didn't know now you know it's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video you guys I'm going to show you guys how to tint your lace frontal or lace closure using basically like a powdered food coloring as opposed to using makeup. I had one of my subscribers comment on one of my videos saying that they really wanted to tint their lace but they weren't a makeup wearer so what are the other alternatives? So I decided to do some experimenting and I found this one for you guys. Yeah, so I got this hair from Recool Hair. It is super on and popping tint. I got three bundles and a frontal. This is in the body wave texture. Um, the frontal is a 13 inch by 4 inch lace frontal and it is pre-plucked. I love that the companies, most companies now are switching over to pre-plucked frontals because those super thick dense ones were definitely not a vibe and just way too much work to get to look natural. So this saves so much time. The hair obviously you guys could see it took the dyes. So it can take dye you guys can see it's curled so it can hold a curl the only thing I haven't done is straighten it but I'm sure if it could do all that it'll have no problem getting getting bone straight sorry guys I just ran away for a quick second because I wanted to put this clip in my hair so you guys could see it It says fabulous and it is so stinking cute I got this clip from Beauty Mart bundles you can get your own by clicking down in the description box you will see the link where you could get it. You guys can use my code with Abby for 10% off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys will see me next one. All right, you guys. So I decided to make the bundles into a unit. This is how it looks. For this video, I am going to be using the Elite Color Powdered Food Coloring. It's similar to a powdered foundation in its texture. And this is the color once it is open. So it's pretty close to my skin. All right, you guys, so I'm looking a little bit crazy because I cleaned my hairline. Um, I, my wig cap was already on for my old wig, so I'm just not redoing it because it's pretty um, packed down. So you guys see this like line, that's where like I wiped off my makeup with alcohol to prep my skin. This is the mixture that I created using the powdered food coloring along with water. So I just mixed it in a spray bottle. You wanna get a spray bottle of your choice. I did try using regular liquid food coloring, but over time it oxidizes and it turns green. So with the powdered food coloring, I found that it doesn't turn any weird colors. I've had this in the bottle for about two weeks now or a week or something and it's still brown. So what I do before I tint my lace is I just take a white cloth and I'll spray my tint on there. You guys can see that it's obviously brown. So depending on your skin color, this might be too light, it might be too dark. You're going to do a few rounds when we tint the lace anyhow. So it's really up to you. I'm sorry if I'm in and out of focus. Get it together. You guys can see this. It's not my skin color, I don't think. Actually, maybe. But the great thing about this too is that it's not permanent. So if you do end up using too much, you can always go wash off and restart. And if you do too little, you just keep adding more coats. So what I like to do is add my first coat. I'll either let it dry if I have something to do, or I'll just use a blow dryer to dry it up real quick. You basically do as many coats as you feel necessary for your skin color. So what I usually do is just test it with my hands. So if I can kind of see this gray casting, well, this is before I've even put anything, then I know it's obviously not ready for me. 
word of advice do this on a paper towel or something just so you don't make a mess this is after the knots have been bleached keep that in mind so i completely open my front so because this is on a wig and i literally i just spray my whole front so you see that a few good sprays in there it's not drenched but you guys can see that it is a little bit wet so like I said you can either leave it to let it dry if you have something to do or blow dry it so it dries faster I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna come back when it's done and I'm more than likely going to add a second coat so I will show you guys how it looks all right you guys so I've done my one coat and it has dried I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks on my head so you can kind of see what I'm working with just to be extra secure, I am gonna do another one. Just to be extra secure, but it's looking good so far. All right guys, so here I am spraying it on. This is my second coat. You guys can see it's pretty well saturated and it is looking darker than before. All right, you guys, so this is after my second coat has dried. I'm putting it against my skin and it blends in pretty well. So I put it on to show you guys again. You guys can see it is looking amazing. There's no gray white kind of casting that comes with transparent laces. It basically looks identical to my skin color. So now I'm gonna move on towards melting it on. Today I will not be using glue, I will be using got to be glue gel because I do not plan to keep this wig on for very long. I am so sorry you guys, I did not realize it didn't catch me on camera cutting off my lace. So basically what I'm doing is just cutting off my lace before I melt it on. You do not want to cut in a straight line because your hairline is not perfectly straight. You kind of want to cut in a jagged motion and mimic your hairline as close as possible. Once again, I am so sorry guys, but I am just cutting the lace in this process. So once that is done, I'm going to start applying the Got To Be Glue gel to the perimeter of my forehead. It is a white gel that dries clear. It is not a glue. I will insert a picture because I guess I didn't do a cameo of it in this. I basically just put it around the perimeter of my hairline until it turns clear. And then I use the end of a tail comb, a makeup brush, a popsicle stick to push it into my hairline. So, sorry, to push it into my skin, not my hairline. You want to apply this before your hairline so that I get that ultimate meltdown. All right, you guys, so after I have melted down my frontal, I'm gonna go in with the hot comb and just straighten up the roots. I'm gonna go in and then cut my baby hair. So basically, I just section off little pieces at the front, snip, snip with some scissors. I do this on both sides. I use some gel to slick it back. And then I put on my head scarf to really like melt it down, 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 down. And when I'm done that, I am basically done the look. So thank you guys so much for watching and hope you enjoy.
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. You guys will see me in the next one. And bye.